When it comes to portable external USB based storage, I have been using, you know, different methodologies for a while, including some of these hard drives, which these Seagate ones from a long time ago used to come with these handy little cases. So when you dropped them or potentially didn't drop them, it would survive the fall. This has actually survived more falls than I would have expected it to completely by accident. And it's scuff free because of the fancy case here. And uh, all the ones I've had over the years, some of them have died. So let's talk about solid state portable storage. And there's a couple of solutions I want to talk about. One's the SanDisk and the other one is kind of a put together solution. I, I think you see the name Orico or Oraco. I'm not exactly sure, O-R-I-C-O. And I picked them up on Amazon. So first one we're gonna talk about is the SanDisk one terabyte extreme portable external SSD up to 550 uh, megs per second, USB-C, USB 3.1. This is $169 for one terabyte of storage. Pretty good deal. I bought it just a couple weeks ago on September 16th, 2019, and the price is down quite a bit. I looked up reviews of this, um, some older ones, and it did list for over $300, $349 according to Amazon here. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty pricey device, and as storage prices have gotten cheaper, especially for solid state, this has really hit a sweet point. The two terabyte model does still go for double though at 249, so it's a little bit more than double to get two terabytes, but I do like the uh, set up here with this kind of nice ruggedized external soft touch rubber that it has. We'll get to that in a second. Then I decided to try a different solution as well. This is the AdLink S71 terabyte MVME. I've tested one of these MVMEs, it's in my computer, and it works shockingly well. So I decided, hey, why not try one in an external USB enclosure? And that's this USB enclosure here. Now, for a homemade solution, this is uh, surprisingly cheap. So we got $32.99 for the uh, USB NVMe M2 enclosure and $114.44 for this. And that brings us a total of $147. So it's $21, $22 almost less than the Sandus solution. So that's impressive price point that now at a hundred, under $150, if you have prime shipping on Amazon if, or if you can hunt it down somewhere else cheaper, you can have a terabyte of solid state storage. Now let's take a closer look at the devices themselves. So first we have the SanDisk here and it has a soft touch rubber. It loves fingerprints. Uh, it definitely has dust from being put in and out of my pocket. I like that soft touch rubber. I like the little hook. You can hook it onto something here so you can keep it tethered to you so it's solid and it feels really well made. Now you only have the one spot USB 3 right here and that's it. I don't see a seam in it. It doesn't have like an easy way to peel it back. So I imagine it's not waterproof, it's not dunk proof really, but it would uh, survive a little bit of moisture, I feel, not not based on any of their claims, but it would survive it pretty well because there's not any easy way to get in as long as it doesn't get in there. So this is a pretty solid device and I don't, doesn't, doesn't rattle. Uh, whatever's inside of here and I didn't want to cut it open, it, it doesn't sound like it's anything loose. Now this, a little bit more delicate of a solution, we're gonna take it apart. Now, it just slides, you squeeze and slide it and it comes apart to expose the one terabyte NVMe inside of here. And it just sets in here. That's what the backside looks like. The one thing to note is the screw goes through the bottom. Normally, if you're used to putting in an NVMe drive, the little nub is sitting up and it screws into it. This actually has just a notch that it goes into, which causes me to stare at it a second when I first open the box. They also do include a screwdriver to put it together, which I thought was pretty cool. And uh, it just sets down in here and we'll slide it down like this. Get it snapped in. And I didn't put these on, but it does have a couple thermal pads to help lock it in place. And I'll probably put those on because when I'm doing the transfers, it's not too hot to touch, but it definitely heats up. So there's definitely some heat, but it does snap together and now pretty solid. And if you squeeze and slide, it comes apart. But if you just try to slide it, it doesn't it doesn't slide. You have to squeeze to push down to get the little clips on there. Now, the other thing that's pretty neat is the sand is shipped with this. This only came with a USB-C to USB-C and a USB-C to USB-C in the box, just like it said on Amazon. This came with a clever solution. That's this right here. This is a USB-C, USB-C and a USB-C, USB-A adapter. Uh, both of them are all 3.1, nice little blue label in there. Uh, to show you, and it just kind of snaps on. But it does only go one way, and I sh did that on purpose to show you, it will kind of sort of go in there if you force it, but there's tiny little notches on there, keep it so it only will lock in place, 
and it does have arrows to point, so you can hopefully get these right. And it, like I said, if you try to flip it over, even though USB-C is universal, it has these little protrusions to keep it from going in. So that's a handy little cable. This definitely added to my uh, collection of things that I keep in my laptop bag. But through my testing, both of these were solid as for in terms of speed. I neck and neck, I transferred the same set of files, erased it, transferred the same set of files, copied, you know, uh, not quite full, but uh, plenty of data, you know, about half full to try to get a real mean average of the speed. They didn't seem any different. So I'm assuming maybe USB 3.1 is the limitation because I, I was going to assume that this was faster and maybe under certain scenarios, this is faster for maybe some random writes, but I'm not exact. I didn't take the time to really dig into the USB 3.1 spec to figure out where some of those limitations are or try it in different systems. But they both do transfer quite fast, which is great because compared to transferring things to a standard hard drive, having speed like this, wow, it is a lot faster than standard spinning hard drives. But the most important part is creating data that is uh, easily offline is something I need to do a lot where I want to have a solid protected data, put this in a safe because I want an offline snapshot. Or when I travel, I create a lot of data or context. I have a trip coming up where I'm going to be filming some things and I don't want to just rely on the cards and maybe I don't have the bandwidth because of where I'm going to be to upload it to the cloud. So having it on my laptop, having it on the card from the camera and having it right here is really handy. Plus I've tried and you can edit off of this. Uh, one of the tests I did with was uh, grab and throw some video on there and try to edit the video. It's really handy to be able to just plug this in right to my laptop and away we go at USB 3.1 speed. So it's impressive to think that, you know, a terabyte now is under $150 if you go with this solution here. That's just a really inexpensive uh, terabyte solution for portable storage and workable storage from an editing standpoint if you need to edit the uh, footage on your laptop or, you know, even on my desktop and be able to transfer things. I even was, it made it really fast when I was creating VMs the other day. I can create a VM and then in VirtualBox on my desktop and then easily just copy the file over to my laptop when I got home, really simple to do so. So I'll leave links where I got both of these on Amazon. I like both of them. I can't decide which one's better, but I will admit for $20 less, this does not seem like a bad solution. This one feels a little bit more rugged. So I guess if you're more rough with it, I'm not going to, I'm flexing a little bit, but it, it feels like it's a really solid solution. I mean, it's not going, it's, it's not like bulletproof here. It is not made of uh, some type of really strong metal. So yes, I feel the flex in it. I probably could break it. Uh, same with this one. I mean, obviously this is just a uh, light plastic MVME in, in uh, holder here. So that's not too ideal, but it, you know, if you uh, drop it, drop it from a little further, it doesn't come apart. So far it hasn't, but I still might recommend uh, putting some glue on it because it's a little bit apart. Uh, putting a little bit of glue on it if you wanted to make this a more permanent closure if you're worried about slipping out of your pocket and going somewhere. And by the way, this soft rubber touch on here, as much as I like it, I do admit when it goes in your pocket, it doesn't come out because it starts to pull everything else on my pocket because it gripped my pocket sliding out. This slides in my pocket a little bit easier. I don't know if your pocket's always gonna be the best place to keep these anyway, so I'm just throwing that out there. And uh, I may look to see if I can get these. This is, uh, I wonder if someone sells this separate. I haven't really looked for it, but I do really like this. And now that I have one, I'm pretty happy uh, because this is nice. So without carrying two cables, one cable and one tiny adapter fits in my little bag, but good. All right, like I said, leave a link where you can get these and thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.